good morning everyone um and um a wonderful spring morning still here and we are enjoying what our god is giving us um, and yesterday we just play, prayed and thank god for all the wonderful things that he has given us proverbs 10 verse 22 says the blessing of the lord brings wealth without painful toil for it <gasps> but lord you said that we are going to work um, we are going to struggle in this world. We are going to um, be weary and we are going to be tired. And, and, and childbirth is going to be hard. And so, you know, building a business is like childbirth. Men know. If we say, you know, <laughs> um, that's the only way they're going to figure it out, that childbirth is heavy. So how can you say without painful toil for it? Well, I think... And any of you are willing to talk to me and tell me what you think. I love hearing what you think. Um, but the blessing of the Lord brings wealth without painful toil. So the blessing of the Lord is a blessing. It's on top of that for which we toil. It's extra to the toil that we do, to the work that we do. We are created to work. Um, we are created to create with God. Um, we are not God, so we can't be like God and create something out of nothing. We can create something out of what God allows us to create something out of. Um, but it comes new. I love to work with my hands and I crochet blankets and I make things and I'm busy changing, um, uh, you know, m building up a stock of, of goods. And I just, I have these ideas and I just want to put them out and I want to create this with my hands. And I love that. And it does make me actually feel closer to God. You'll always see this table is full of yarn and some more yarn. And here's little things. And I sell these things. So you'll see here, um, I have to, if I, a client comes for a massage, I have to quickly put everything away I'm toiling with <laughs> so that I can massage them. But the blessing of the Lord is on top of that with which we work, for which we work. Um, it is that extra oomph, that wealth on top of it, that we work for this. And sometimes you watch somebody and you go, how can their lives be that good with that which they're doing? And they are working and they are working hard and everything, but their lives are almost bigger. And then you go and you speak to them and often they are a follower of Christ and they just do the things that the Bible tells us brings blessing and they are blessed over and above what they do. So the Bible has never said you will not have to work. But blessing, that which is from God, is purely from God. Part of our blessing, part of that which is wonderful, is our gifts and talents. Um, and that's part of our blessing. Um, and after the gift and the talent is something that you are given. Yes, we work hard to improve those gifts. Yes, we work hard to, you know, if you're a musician and you've got a talent for music, you've got to practice and you've got to, um, but the blessing came for free. The, the original talent came for free. Pesky motorbike. So think about it. You know, sometimes we read um, scripture in the Bible and it says, but I shouldn't have to toil for what I have. But be, read it carefully. The blessing is the extra. That which is unprecedented. That with which we did, for which we did not have to work. The work, the toil, is um, something that God said we would do on this earth. So go and work. Do your work, your daily work. But trust in the extra blessings from God. Because those, that's where your wealth will be built within your family with love, within your finances, um, with savings. Um, your toil bring is the beginning, but the blessing is what God adds on top. So I pray that you all have a wonderful, God-blessed day, that you find something extra without any toil, and you know that it's from God. Have a blessed day and we'll speak again tomorrow. Yeah.